Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Esther here and well Dead by Daylight has chosen the finalists for the community design a cosmetic collection and now it's time for us to vote on it and if you hadn't seen they had increased the number of winners to three winners per category so we're going to have a variety of choices to choose from in this survey link here and we're going to get to pick three of our favorites so i haven't seen any of it we're going to look at it together i'm probably not going to make my votes public because i don't want to influence you I don't want you to be like, well, streamer voted for this. I'm going to vote for this. I want you to pick what you pick. So we're going to look at the things together, but I'm going to keep my votes uh, to myself. So here we are. It says here, it's time for you. Yes, you behind the screen to make your decision. The community voting stage has officially started. You have until September 26th at 5 p.m. to cast your votes. We are very eager to know which ones will be added to the game this time. So about a week to do it here and they have this link and it takes you to one of these survey monkey links here and it says dead by daylight design a cosmetic contest welcome today we're offering the community a chance to make their choice for the outfits you want to see in the game cast your votes in the series of polls to decide which outfits will appear in the future riffs the voting categories are killer outfit survivor outfit badge and banner Pick your top three and don't forget to share the poll with your friends. Please remember you're voting for the concepts which you think would make the best cosmetics in the game, not the quality of the artwork. That's because, you know, the professionals are going to spiff up anything that looks like, you know, it might not be entirely polished. The Dead by Daylight devs are going to take the person's uh, vision and turn it into Dead by Daylight styles, right? So... Uh, the winning entries will be announced by October 3rd on Twitter alongside the winner's chosen name or nickname. Okay, so here we go. All right. Design a cosmetic contest killer outfit. Here are the killer outfit entries. You need to pick three of them based on creativity, originality, and execution. Good luck. The Dredge. A house is not on home by Ivana Krovanova. Uh, Dredge is a killer known for lurking in survivor safe places with my design. I wished to further play uh, with this concept by taking something safe as one's own home, further twisting the idea into something corrupted. Oh, I see. So it's like Dredge as a house. A house is not a home. Okay. The Dredge. Oh, we got more than one Dredge. Fear of Reminiscence by Uro Utsuro. Sorry if I butcher anybody's name here. So this looks like a, a ghostly sheet here. A lantern that turns on or off at nightfall. Scissors for a weapon and a scythe. I guess the scissors are like when you cut the eyes out of a sheet for a ghost costume. The Hag, Bone Weaver by Cambion. Okay. Oh, in the Entities Realm, the Bone Weaver is responsible for creating totems for the trials. Using the remains of her cannibalized victims, she creates her art. Her body is covered in soot, created tattoos in all in honor of the entity, symbolizing its long claw-like tendrils usually seen during sacrifice. Okay, see? Uh, the Huntress. Scarlet Serenity by Merl Merlifluous. Silk Chiffon Veil, Crochet Wrap, Silver Chains Around the Horns, Ribbon Wraps Around, Red Ribbon Wrapped Around the Horns, and, uh, and the Weapon too, I guess. Scarlet Serenity, the Huntress. Next, we have the Night Mass Grave by Gabriel Rodriguez. What's going on with the headpiece here? Is it like a, is it a golden skull? I'm having a little trouble seeing what that is. The weapon looks like a spine sword here. 
Okay. Intestines hanging in the front, looks like. Bony legs for the night. Next, we have The Nurse Past Slaughter by Byron Van Orem. Uh, let's see, there's progress picks. I guess they provided the progress picks because, like, they wanted proof in some cases that, uh, you know, this was people's original work. So they provided some of the in-progress stuff. Lower dress warped from shape changes and the patterns used for the dress there. Past slaughter. Uh, flowers in the hair, it looks like. Yeah, I think so. Next, we have the Singularity Death Top. That's funny. By uh, It's Sure Boy. Stunned VFX. Attack VFX. This is kind of interesting because uh, back in the day when they had the first cosmetic costume, the uh, Always Slashing Legion had been given effects that uh, it would have this digital smile on the mask of their face, right? And if they were stunned, it was supposed to turn into a frowny face. But at the time, they said that that was beyond their capabilities and they had to scrap the change of emotions. Now we've seen that um, the devs' ability has progressed to where they can have VFX on cosmetics in-game, whether or not they can do something like this to make the angry face on uh, Singularity, I'm not entirely sure if this, that's something they can do now or not, but same kind of the same idea as those always uh, always slashing legions cosmetics. Uh, next, we have the Spirit Blossoming Koi by Stormy Simmons. So it looks like they have like fins on their legs and lots of flowers here. And we have Fay King by Mithril for the trickster. Um, he ruled a land beyond our own where dreams became reality and illusion lurked around every corner. Glittering plume for the head. It was said he could hypnotize any mortal with a mere look. Azure train on the body. Its clothes mirrored its own uh, resplendence. Nothing else would do. And the weapon is a scrying staff. He watched over his realm and any who wandered in by mistake. The Fey King. Trickster. And then the unknown, we have Unsolved by Shy Boy Art. I get it. It's like a hard boiled detective version here. Uh, Bernardo Balladaris. Concept artist here. So, yeah, it looks like hard boiled detective to me. We got some crime scene tape all around the neck and face. Evidence weapon. Oh, I see. It's like the weapon is busting out of the evidence bag for the knife. Okay. So those are your killer choices here, and then they want you to vote for your top three and, we'll, and move on. All right, I'm going to make my selections, and we'll look at the next category here. Here are the survivor outfit entries. You need to pick three of them based on creativity, originality, and execution. Good luck. By the way, I'm going to have the link to this survey in the first pinned comment and at the top of the description of this video so that you know that where to go so that you can vote for them too because I want all of you to vote as well, obviously. So let's review the Survivor outfits here. Ace Visconti's Gambler's Riches by Love Rev. So we have an exotic feather in the hat, tinted circle shades that are aqua and blue, uh, a fluffy fur scarf, bigger and more fluffy in game, gold embroidery and stitching, Ace of Spades belt buckle, lucky rabbit foot on the belt, and lots of gold accessories and blood because it's DVD. Gives me a 70s vibe there. Next, we have Adam Francis Late Night Lecture by Raz Pizzazz. 
and they give uh, close-up looks of what the socks and shirt patterns that they, they designed would be for this cosmetic. Uh, Adam kind of uh, looks like he has a cape almost with his jacket draped around his shoulders there. And next we have Elodie Rakato Parkours Du Jour by Digar89. Got some kicks here and close-ups of some gold jewelry and bandages. Got some nicks from I Like Parkour and a close-up of her hairstyle from behind, Elodie. Next, we have Gabriel Soma, the Space Rider by Gabriel V. Rodriguez. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't this person uh, in the, the killer choices, too? They had something selected for each category. That's impressive. Space Rider Gabriel Soma. I don't know what these long ribbons are. I'm tied to the back, swinging down. I'm not sure what uh, that's going for. I'm ignorant to the design here. And we have Jake Park Lone Wolf by Kelsey Gottschlich. Again, I apologize if I butcher anybody's names. This kind of reminds me of uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. Jacket patch left breast pocket. Oh, I see. Oh, this heart. Is the jacket okay? They've given a close up of their details here. Right shoulder jacket patch, left shoulder, stop animal testing, tattoo on the left forearm and the back of the jacket. I see. They give a close up of this stuff on the design here. Yeah, it really gives me Lone Wolf and Cub vibes. You know, in a modern sense. Jane Romero, professional punk by M. Morgan. Got a bedazzled star on the back and some spikes on the shoulders here for Jane. Some thick clunky boots. And uh, next we have Kate Denson, Strawberry Outlaw by Reese's Pieces. Now, this is like what they might say. You might say this is more crude compared to some of the other art pieces that we've seen. And they want you to just remember that it's not about how polished the art is, just the concept of the design. And the devs are going to be the ones who are going to come in and give it that DVD flair. So, strawberries on the skirt here, it looks like. Gone full cowgirl. Full pink cowgirl for Kate. Pardon me. And Nea Carlson, Skate Park Style by Sugar Schnapps. Okay, so they gave some design process pictures here too, like we saw with the nurse, the in-progress pro in stuff. Can't really read any of this text here. Font. Can't read any of this. Font makes it a little difficult to read. So, uh, we're going with a brassy red hairstyle for Nia with uh, little braids on the sides, it looks like. Mash sticks on the back. Spike shoulders here, too. Next, we have Renato Wishing on a Star, Renato Lira by Ziggith. Mm. The whole pattern is made of different pieces of fabric, handmade. Okay, so I guess it's supposed to have like a handmade look to it here with all the, the stitching shown. Long hair for Renato. Braided up with jewelry in it, it looks like. Button down shirt. Long pants. Sable Ward, the Gothic Romance by Fairy Kun. It has a pearl headpiece. Skull shoulder piece. 
A few roses are embroidered on the fabric to transition to the real roses. Oh, here, I guess. The... Uh, the structure something follows the same shape as Sable's default dress, so it doesn't clip with other cosmetic pieces, but is still high-waisted. This cage, I guess, they're talking about? I don't know. Pearls to evoke the morning dew and metal clips on the back. Metal clips and pearls here. Okay. All right. Vote for your favorite choices. All right. I'm going to make my votes and we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Third category is uh, design a cosmetic badge. Here are the badge entries. You need to pick three of them based on creativity, originality, and execution. Good luck. A little friend by Yuki Yamato. If dangerous, why friend-shaped, overtaken by nature, a little poison dart frog is resting on their new favorite spot. Such a beautiful rock. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <clears throat> uh, badge concept by Rhea Sunshiny. No explanation here. I guess this is supposed to be uh, the spirit with one of the shards of glass showing her Yamaoka's wrath behind it the oni from her lineage uh bloodbath by stormy simmons this is a rubber ducky that looks like it's it's in the bloodbath rubber ducky you're the one you make bloodbath time lots of fun rubber ducky i'm awfully fond of you do 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 de do Sorry. Next, we have The Bloody Valentine by Lovell VV. And I don't know if this is anyone's hand in particular. Holding a heart. Skeletal hand. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be someone's hand specifically or not. My Bloody Valentine. Carter's Spark by Eggsy. Obviously, that is doctor inspired. Very nice play doctor so i might be a little biased but you pick what you like cauliflower by enigma system i get it play on the call of the crow inside of the cauliflower i get what they're going for there clever <clears throat> crow's eye by pawn 533 uh Crow got that eyeball on the beak. Antikitty by Squid Sickles. <laughs> this blighted tabby cat with the blighted mouse in their mouth and the entity tentacles. That's funny. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Next, we have Maurice Wink by Glossopho. Just what you might imagine it is. Maurice the Horse from the Father Campbell Chapel. Even a little wink. And now we have Wicked Brew by Melissa Jokella. So this is Sable's mug that she holds while she's uh, in, in the lobby. We never did get this as a real item, by the way. It was supposed to be for sale in the In Real Life Dead by Daylight store, but they had put on there that they had a problem with the vendor, with the quality of the mugs. So they're trying to source a new vendor. So, yeah, this was supposed to come out the same time Sable did. All right, and that's it. Okay, vote for your three favorite badges. Select your three choices. All right, I'll pick mine. And then we'll move on to the next category. Okay, and finally, the last category here are the banners. Here are the banner entries. You need to pick three of them based on creativity, originality, execution, good luck. An artist's best friend by Datwashi. 
So we have Carmina Mora, the artist here with a crow in the foreground. Banner concept by Elf. So I'm uh, assuming this is like a, a blood moon with some trees in the foreground. No real description given, so. Not sure. Banner concept by YM. Again, I wish they had, uh, you know, descriptions for these so we could see what the artist was going for, but just have to use our own imagination what they're going for, I guess. Discarded Water by Enigma System. So I guess, uh, yeah, all the, the banners, they, you know, they trail off on the left-hand side here. So this person showed, like, what the full thing is, but you can see some of it's going to get cut off in their design when it turns into a banner. So we have masks for the killers here, beamers, med kit, weapons. Entity touch pedals by DBD Addict. So I guess these are um, the blighted flowers, the pustula pedals. In Plain Sight by Ath's Art. A lot of eyeballs looking at you. Intertwined by Habromania. Oh, a lot of hands. Okay, I see. So this is like the hands of all the killers, because that looks like the plague's hand there to me. Uh, spirit. Yeah, I think this is maybe Hag here. Dredge. Looks like this is supposed to be all the killers. Everybody put hands in. 4K on three. One, two, three, 4K. No, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what it looks like to me, all of the hands. All right. Neon Racer by Lucky Maws. Oh, that's uh, Yui on the bike, I think, with the neon trail in behind. Riding Maurice by Quibbler, a dangerous rodeo on a monstrous horse among clouds of toxic smoke. Take care of yourself, you cool country girl. Yeah, I wish they all had like a, a description like that of what they were going for. Riding Maurice. Well, this makes the carnival look much more pleasant, doesn't it? Slug Race by Lee. I see there's four slugs racing. That's funny. All right, so that's your four banners. I'm going to go make my picks now. Okay, that's all my votes in. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I voted for. I want you to make like a true pick of your own feelings and whatever you think. Uh, I did see some stuff going on like, you know, I, I heard rumors of people saying that they would gift subs to a streamer who chose their design on stream, which is kind of yucky. Like, don't do that. I mean, stop... Uh, I don't think people should try and influence the vote in any way, personally. Everybody should just have their thing picked on its own merit, not with the promise of some gift. So that's just me. I think then, actually, that's the road that it goes down where we just end up losing choice, where it becomes, you know, not only a popularity contest, but an, an incentive by your vote thing so yeah that's not cool with me don't do that so yeah my, my picks are going to be my own your picks you know should be your own do whatever you want to do but i'm not going to influence you in any way so uh kudos to all of the artists and um good luck to everybody and i guess we'll find out in october what the winners are so Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Again, I'll have the link to the Survey Monkey uh, in the description and the first pinned comment so that you can click it and you can put in your votes too. But that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Appreciate the time that you spend here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel a ton. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a generous life for us. 
It's a Jen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Jen Rush life.